we're trying to film a review for the Avatar knife here. Such a big one, so big. But I don't know, there's so many people around here, first of all. It's a little bit worrying. And secondly, we're not sure if it's allowed to film here. We were trying to find out from the authorities, they say you can make pictures, but we're not sure about the videos. So we don't know anything. We'll try to film something, as is usual, covertly. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out, but at least we'll get an adventure. First of all, it's a fetish. It's a huge knife that you just want to have. And the passers by are looking weirdly at me. But it's really functional, and if you're ready to carry in your pocket in the city a knife that's 315 millimeters long, 12.4 inches. Ah, screw it. We're in the Czech Republic. Here, 60 kilometers away from Prague, in the city of Kutnagora, we decided to film a review for a gothic knife, in my opinion. That's a renewed avatar from the Nox brand. Way back in 1278, the abbot of a Cistercian monastery in Sedlice was sent by the king to the Holy Land of Israel. He brought back from there some holy earth from the place where, according to the legend, Jesus Christ was buried. And he threw it around in the cemetery of the monastery. The news spread and the cemetery became very popular among the dwellers of the Central Europe. Many thousands of people wanted to be buried here. Wars, plagues made this cemetery very big and very fast. More than a hundred years later, a Gothic cathedral was built in the middle of the cemetery with a crypt. The crypt was made to bury the bones extracted from the graves because there was not enough place for everyone. And the place was left for new burials. In 1784, the emperor made an order to close the monastery and the crypt with all the monastery land were sold. They were bought by the Schwarzenbergs family. A little less than a hundred years later, the Schwarzenbergs hired a famous wood architect to organize all the piles of bones that were kept in the crypt. You can see the results of his work right here. Now back to the knives. Actually, nowadays big folding knives are not a rarity anymore. And that's mostly thanks to the well-known brand Cold Steel. Just remember their Espada, Raja, Talwar and the famous t Light 6. These are strange knives, ambiguous, but they're so popular, they're so attractive for their huge insane size that they really strike a chord. And very few manufacturers risked to repeat their audacity. And out of those who tried, a lot of them failed. But the Nox brand succeeded with their avatar knife. The handle is 167 millimeters long, the blade is 148 millimeters, and when it's unfolded, it's 315 millimeters long. That's impressive, right? But let's go step by step. The avatar is actually a very popular knife. It's been around for a few years now on the market and it's quite popular, people buy it a lot. Why is it only now that we're making a detailed review? First of all, because it's a renewed version. And secondly, I think that the knife is quite interesting. We only had a glance at it on our channel, it deserves more. 
As is traditional for the Nox brand, the Avatar has two versions, the D2 steel one and the OS8. They're also different in the color solutions. If it has black G10 on the handle, then the blade, the liners and the pivot screw will be light. That's the D2. And if the G10 is green, then the blade will be black. That's the OS8. And actually, the first thing I really liked about it is that it's packed not in some kind of a cheap blister pack that you would throw away right after unpacking, but it has this beautiful gift box. First of all, you could think that it's some kind of an expensive cognac. But no, that's the avatar. The set also includes a nylon sheath. It's not so interesting to us. You can just put it on your belt. It has a press button. Nothing interesting. Nothing unusual. So let's go back to the knife. The knife is quite hefty, which is logical for its size. 208 grams, 7.3 ounces. The handle, which is 6.6 .6 inches long, has impressive inner liners wrapped in G10 scales with rough but pleasant to the skin jimpings. The knife is assembled as reliable as it can be. The backspacer, which is a main element of the build, goes all the way to the middle of the handle. It's held together with two Torx screws. Another element of the build is a stopping pin. And the pivot pin is more than solid. Since we're speaking about the pivot pin and the liners, I should emphasize what's new in this avatar. So first of all, the liner lock is much shorter now, while the liners themselves are 0.2 millimeters thicker. That's why when the blade is open, it's not so bouncy anymore. But the lock is harder. The axial node was increased and at the popular demand, the ball bearings were removed from the knife. Now the blade works on bronze washers. Of course it makes it more reliable, but now you shouldn't expect mechanical wonders from the blade. You wouldn't be able to open it with the stud. You'll just damage your finger without opening the knife. On the other hand, with such a size, there are lots of other ways to open the knife. The pocket clip is held in place with two torque screws and it has a little bit of a wiggle, but it's quite tight, so you shouldn't wear it with some light pants. Your pockets are not gonna last long with it, but if you're wearing some well-made helicons, you should be fine. There's a lanyard hole, of course, how can you do without it? And there are jimpings on the back of the spacer that helps with reverse grip the blade. Practically every opening of the avatar is followed with a scary and uncompromising click. But at the same time you should be ready that the big and heavy blade with inertia opening can be stopped by the liner of the knife. Almost 15 centimeters of steel, 5.8 inches, it's huge. But it works well with cutting foods, bread, sausage. By the way, it's gonna be very useful on a picnic and it's gonna grab the attention of your friends for sure with such a knife. Fullers on both sides of the blade make it lighter and also serve as additional stiffening ribs. The jimping of the spine helps you hold it more comfortably with your thumb and the rocasso turns into a very convenient groove for your index finger if you want to hold the knife as close to the blade as possible. And now traditionally, no matter how good a knife is, we're always looking for some defects and construction peculiarities. In general, I have already told you about them. You cannot wear it on your pocket if your pants are made of soft cloth. The mechanics are rougher now, there's no ball bearings anymore, there's washers instead, and the knife became tougher in general, because the liners became thicker and shorter. But all these peculiarities have some defects, but they make it much more powerful and reliable. But there's another point. This is the stud. It is too rough. The edges are too sharp. And even if you open it like this, your thumb feels very uncomfortable. You can open it once or twice, but if you keep flicking it for a day, not even a day, for 5 to 10 minutes, you're just gonna ruin your thumb. As a successor of the Spanish Navaja, the Avatar can hardly be called a CTEDC knife. Although I know quite a few fans of such huge knives in their pockets. The XXL knives. First of all, it's a fetish. It's a huge knife that you just really wanna have in your possession. At the same time, the OS8 version only costs about 4000 rubles, $50, a lot of people can afford such a fetish. At the same time, the knife is not useless, it's very functional. And if you are ready to carry in the city on your pocket a 315 mm cleaver, then welcome to the Nox brand, you can see the link in the description. 
the avatar, the knife on the limit between order and chaos. If you would add a few millimeters to the blade, it would become a melee weapon and you wouldn't be able to carry it legally in Russia. But the designer, Alexander Birikov, thought about it. And now, even us, city hooligans, can carry this knife in our pockets completely legally. This is the Berloga channel, Czech Republic and the Avatar knife. Have a good one, see you online.